Welcome Clarity Coders to Grow a Garden or Bot a Garden. Now, of course, I would never actually bot a game, so this is just me playing for long time periods. But we're gonna see what this game is all about. Now, my kids have already given me a little bit of the lowdown here. We're gonna go get some seeds, talk to our seed man, Sam. I'm just gonna buy the carrots to start out here. So we click, click our green button. Close out, back to our garden now. We'll just click this button, it jumps over. Just use our keyboard, navigate over here. We gotta click on our seeds, and then click on the ground, and this will plant our carrots. Then it's a waiting game. They'll grow, we gotta wait for them to grow. Now we can harvest. We can just hold E, so that'll be good when we automate. Once we have them, we go over to sell, sell our seeds, rinse and repeat. Now, I want to be able to use ChatGPT to get us a bot up and going by tonight so we can leave it running, see what we got. I gave it the details. Can you believe ChatGPT doesn't even exist when we started this channel? Pretty crazy. I'm gonna make sure I have Python installed, I do. Now we can do our activate our virtual environment here. And then from here you can do your installs. While that's loading, let's do just a little more playing here. We need a little bigger garden. Ooh, moonlit strawberries. It changes like the features of the fruit changes the longer you leave them there, I think as well. Now let's buy some items. Let's buy some tomatoes. Let's buy some blueberries, maybe. Now back on chat, GPT. I want to keep this simple. Let's just listen for an S key to start the program. And we can get some movement from there. Let's paste this in. I'm going to try and run it. Python main.py. Hey, look at that. It's running. Walks backwards towards the camera. Hey, that's pretty good out of the gate. Now we need to get it to click our buttons above the seeds, the garden, and the cell. I usually take these into paint so then I can kind of find the coordinates and then click them and then do each of the function. I got a screenshot here in paint. In the bottom left corner, you see the coordinates right there. Once we grab those, we can have ChatGPT create us a function to click, and then we can do that at the end of the sequence. So I'm gonna have it write me a function and then we'll paste that into our code here. Now this can be a bit quirky, so we'll play around a little bit. Now you look, we're moving, and we, oops, missed our buttons. Missed the first button, maybe. Now I want it to be smoothed out a little bit. We got it to work and got it to click, but I want it to move smooth. So Google had a thing where instead of doing a CAPTCHA to see if you're a human or not, it tests to see if you're a robot because it moves straight to a target versus like when a human moves a mouse, it kind of jiggles around and stuff. So let's have chat GPT create us a little smooth move function here. Let's copy that smooth move function, paste it back in here, and we are ready to test again. Going forward, going back. Nice and easy up to seeds, I like it. Over to garden, great. Let's go to cell. Boom. We have all of our functions now. I think, I think we're pretty close to robot and out. Let's click back to our garden. Let's try, let's center our camera here and see if we can get it to actually run through and automatically sell fruit or vegetables. Now you can see it's grabbing the fruit automatically, that's good. Now it's moving to the left, that's good. We program that in, grabbing more strawberries. Pretty good for a first run. Let's see if it, oh, it goes up to the blueberry patch, collects there. Then we go to sell, that works. Now I'm gonna manually click sell this time. Now back in our code, we have to do a little refactoring here. I'm just gonna create a little utils program that we can put our hold key in and stuff like that. Just cleaning stuff up before we get to our real botting here. 
Now back in chat GBT, I'm gonna have it click a garden, then it'll go up, then it'll hold E to harvest, go across, then hold up again, then go to sell, sell our inventory. Now I got that pasted all in, let's give this another try. I'm gonna push P, it'll start. Start harvesting. You'll notice it went up a little too far, so it's gonna get stuck on the beanstalks and just go up instead. That's okay. Let's see if it goes to sell. Go to sell, yeah. Now back to the garden. So it's looping okay, we don't have the logic in to sell yet. Let's go ahead and do that. In our code, we're gonna start entering the logic. We just need to create a new function. Click sell, all inventory or something. It's always nice to have short function names, right? Now that's done, let's test it out again, hit P. This time we didn't go too far up, so we can go across, hopefully. Yeah. Pick our strawberries. Pick our blueberries. Sell. This time we open up the menu, we bring our mouse down to click. Bam! 847. First fully automated now we're going back in the loop and we're almost ready for our first overnight journey i'm just gonna let it run and we can see what happens we'll get a little stats and just take a look at what we got do 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 i don't know why our guy's doing this but we had a pretty good first run we ran up for about 10 hours we gained 1,800,000 about $180,000 per hour, $3,000 per minute. Now, I presume most of this could be improved just by planning more stuff, right? But we also have to take a look at our code, see if there are any issues with it as well. Let's head back to chat GPT. In here, we want to be able to set up multiple sequences, I think, right? So we can plant in different areas of the garden and then it doesn't visit the same part of the garden every time. So let's have it create a way for us to create multiple sequences. Now back in our code, we'll get that implemented. So I'm gonna have an A sequence and a B sequence for right now. We'll try and rotate through those two and that'll give our crops time to grow and effects to take place and things like that. I think that'll help our per minute and per hour money. Get this all tweaked, then we can head back to our testing area. So we're looping through. I don't know whose dog that is. Oh, and we have a crate here. We got stuck. You can see I've planted some more stuff with our money. So we have a dragon fruit tree there and a lot more tomatoes. Basically, we're a tomato farmer, I would say. So this is our first sequence still, we're still on A. We're gonna move up, and then go across. This is still sequence A. At the end of sequence A, we'll go to sell. There you go, we hit click sell. Got anything to sell? Of course we do. 11,000, that's pretty good. Now we'll go up. This is our second sweet sequence here. Try and climb the dragon fruit tree. Keep climbing. Oop, fell off. Oops, now you'll notice it goes right back to garden. It didn't sell at the end of that sequence, so we gotta fix that first. Let's go back in our code. I'm gonna add some more sequences, python main.py. Bro's trying to give me a gift. I don't have time for that. Let's go to the garden. See, I planted even more. We gotta get ready for our next run here, or overnight run. Test out the cell. 16,000 now. We are cooking with gas. And we're ready for our second overnight. Let's see if we increased our dollars per minute here. Aw, no disco music this time. 
We did make more gains, though. About 3,100,000. It ran for about four hours and 35 minutes. And then we got this reconnect, as you'll see here. That's 11,000 per minute, 676 per hour. Now, a day later, here's our new garden setup. I wanted to show you guys a problem that we're having in some way that we can increase here. So if we look at our bot, it starts collecting. And then eventually we're gonna collect enough that our backpack's full, but we're gonna keep trying to collect items. So I wanna use a YOLO model to see if we can go sell our inventory early. See, there's the max backpack space, go sell. So I wanna train a model to do that. So let's jump into RoboFlow. Here I created a project called Bought a Garden. Click into that. You can see here we can upload entire videos to our data set. So I'm just going to pick one of the screen recordings that I have. You can change your output. So you want one frame every second or two seconds or whatever you want. Obviously, the faster, the more images you'll get. Now we got our frames. Now starting our annotation, you can see we can highlight what we want to look for and then name it. You can see I've done some other stuff here just playing around. I'm gonna actually expand this square so it includes the entire cell and then I'm just gonna call it max. Then in our program, if it finds max, we can go ahead and stop the rest of the sequence. I'm going to mark another one here, hit save. We'll go to the next image. You notice nothing's in this image, so I'm going to mark this one null, so on and so forth. Now, after hours of annotation, we can go to versions and create a new version of our program. You have a lot of different things you can do in RoboFlow here. For us, we're going to do just a little bit of augmentation here just to create some more images. You notice sometimes it's snowing in our world, sometimes it's not. So we can change this hue to try and adapt to different looks that our environment might have. And I'm gonna apply that. That'll give us just a little more images in our data set. Now RoboFlow, you can pay to train a model. We're not gonna do that. You can also pay to get more images in your version. We're just gonna do whatever we can do for free here. Now once it's done, we can go up to download data set. We're just gonna show the download code and then we can just pull it directly into our Visual Studio code. You can select what kind of YOLO version you want. I'm gonna pick 12 because it's the newest. I don't think there's anything too crazy new after YOLO 8. So whatever you wanna use, you can use, but I'll show 12 here. Now this is our little code snippet. We can copy that and we can paste it in. It does have a private key, so don't show that to people. Now back in our project, we can create a train.py. We'll paste this code in that I definitely wrote by myself and didn't have chat GPT generate. You can see I got my version X'd out. Now here's what an image will look like. So that's a screenshot. And here's it trying to find all the maxes. You'll notice one of those maxes has a 0.15 for a threshold. All the rest have like zero. So we want to train it until it can have a fairly high confidence rate that it sees the max backpack on the screen. Now I'm lazy, so I didn't train this for very long. So we'll see if it works. I'm literally going to look for like point over 0.12, like 12% sure or so that it found a max backpack. And then we'll see if that works good enough. See, we're on our dragon fruit tree, jumping around here. Now I fell off the dragon fruit tree. We're collecting some more down here. I don't know if we're gonna hit the max on this or not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we got it, we're off the map. This doesn't look like a bot at all. Now I'd presume that Roblox doesn't really, Roblox cares if you make bots i'm sure to grow a garden doesn't care especially with their player base kind of dwindling right now 
I think there's some chaos, so I doubt they're looking for bots. Now we're about ready to start our last overnight here. This is our new garden. I actually found the trowel so I can move some of my plants around. You'll see that we have a lot more sequences, so I'm hoping that we hit more vegetables, more mutations. You can see some still growing here on, in the strawberry side. That's gonna fill out throughout the night. And I also have a high value sequence set up so we can get some of those as well. Now we're back to our garden, we go right. You'll see this time I go up this middle row here, I'm jumping on top of the tomato plants. So we're kind of trying to hit this area now, kind of break up where we're going for. You can see we're getting close to having a full backpack, I would think. There we get a max backpack space. So that will cause us to go sell early. Great, that's working great. Sell our inventory. 18,000, that's pretty good. Let's go back to the garden. You can see this is kind of our high value run here. I set up my avocado trees so I could jump on top of them and then get on top of the dragon fruit tree. I got some tall tomatoes, another full backpack here. It's not registering. <laughs> Hopefully we catch it. There we caught it. Go to sell. Now, obviously, you can make that work better by training more as well. Let's leave this overnight and see what we got in the morning. Final stats are in. So we got 51 million in about four hours. That's roughly 209,000 per minute. About 12,500,000 per hour. So our bot's working pretty good. We could obviously fill out this garden more, space out where we're going from and make more. We could also automate buying seeds as well. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that video. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. You can see when it hits the disconnect screen now, we hit leave. Uh, that was just to prevent us for playing for like 20 hours straight or anything like that. Thanks for watching and until next time, Keep coding.